be able to talk about how we can really supersize growth for businesses. And uh, the way we can do that is through return and investment tracking um, and driving growth through that. Mm. I think what I want to really look at is what is the usual problem that we all have um, with marketing or what is the problem that I found across many of the people that I talk to. And what John Wanamaker said is that half of the money I spend on advertising is wasted, the trouble is I don't know what half. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is that I don't think businesses of today have properly solved this problem. And I want to try and solve that problem with you guys today. If you're doing email marketing, if you're doing magazine adverts, if you're doing newspaper adverts, if you're running some PR, or you have somebody that's, you know, your friend's daughter that does a bit of social media for you for a couple of hours a month, how do you know that she's actually doing any work of driving leads, or how are you holding people accountable for what they say? So for every thousand pounds we spend here, equals 20 grand there. Does that make sense? Good, okay, so essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell this story as we go forward and be able to make intelligent decisions that you guys are the entrepreneurs out there. As you said, which is very kind of you, that we believe that you guys need to shout better about what you do because we're all quite bashful. If you're tracking all other methods, then it starts to actually have, you can, you can have a look what the whole picture is. And, and what we're trying to do is get the skills to really understand at least the statistics that drive the most things. You've got, what you've got to look at is you've got to look at what's your net cost, and then how many leads do you need to convert to sell, so what's your conversion rate, and then work out what your net cost is with your conversion rate, with your leads to sell, and then do that calculation which sits at the bottom underneath this pound bit, and then you actually know what the benchmark is. Thank you very much. So what I like about the Richmond Business Club is that it has a number of real thought leaders that come and present. Do you know what? I met some amazing people tonight and it's been a fantastic event and uh, it was incredibly uh, high quality today. I met a number of really good businesses as well. So I think there's a difference here. You know, I do a lot of networking and I've been to a lot of networking groups, but this is more than that. This is real seminars and real thought leadership and people getting together to actually discuss what's happening in their industries right now and that's why i'll certainly be coming back and that's why i think these guys are really top of their tree well jeremy first approached me back in uh, february 2014 um, about coming on board to set up the richmond business club uh, two months later we held the first business networking event um, and since then probably held around 20 events um, at different venues throughout the borough and beyond and always fantastically attended um, yet again this evening we've had 80 people here um, at the University of West London, um, the Claude Littner Business School. Brilliant evening again. Um, and I think the, the area that really impresses me more than anything is always the, the breadth and quality of the, of the companies that come on board um, to, to, as part of the business group. Um, so we're, we're deeply indebted to uh, Jeremy for all his efforts uh, and very excited about the way um, that the business club is, is, is an integral part of the club um, going forward.